go live to our political reporter, Olivia Caisley. Olivia, this comes after that marathon meeting yesterday where the opposition formalised their no position. That's right, Kieran. So Ken White was the nation's first Aboriginal person to hold the Indigenous Australians portfolio. And these reports today that he's now quit the Liberal Party over their stance on The Voice is hugely significant. Mr White is a member of the referendum working group and just weeks ago stood alongside the Prime Minister as he delivered that hugely emotional press conference in the Blue Room here in Parliament House as he outlined both the proposed wording of the question that will be asked of the Australian people at a referendum at the end of this year, as well as the three clauses that would be added to the nation's birth certificate if that referendum is successful. So in a statement given to the West Australian, Mr White has said, I still believe in the Liberal Party values, but I don't believe in what the Liberals have become. Aboriginal people are reaching out to be heard, but the Liberals have rejected their invitation. Kieran, this is another blow for Peter Dutton when criticisms have been flowing in of the opposition and their no position on the voice thick and fast. But here are some of the responses, starting first with the Prime Minister. Yesterday's position was confused. It said we support constitutional recognition, but not now. We support uh, voices but not a national voice. We're going to have these local and voices, but they're not going to have any possibility of bringing it together. They are a mean, nasty outfit uh, with, with hearts uh, about as big as their dwindling primary vote. Like We need to do this. This is our moment. He's like the national undertaker seeking to kill Uluru and bury it in a hole. Um, he's, he's going to be stalking around the countryside trying to kill the Uluru statement from the heart. National Senator Perrin Davey says she's disappointed by Mr White's departure from the Liberals. Well, I mean, it's very disappointing. Ken White did a lot for Indigenous people in this country. He was our first actual Indigenous, Indigenous Affairs Minister. Um, he has a lot to contribute. Uh, it is disappointing to hear that he's decided to leave the Liberal Party, but um, he is entitled to do so. This comes as the Liberals uh, formally uh, formalised their opposition rather to the government's proposal on the voice referendum yesterday. While the Liberals do endorse constitutional recognition, they don't think that the national voice should be enshrined uh, in the nation's birth certificate. And they're going to join their coalition partner, the Nationals, and actively campaigning against the government's proposal, Kieran.